Prince of Wales Challenge Cup, and we have got crews from the River Lee and London Rowing Club on the far side of the picture, and on the, I guess, the right hand side, the Buckinghamshire Bank, Queen's University Belfast. And that's from Northern Ireland. I say thank you to Fergus Mainland for that excellent. Uh, Summarising, it's been great working with you, Fergus, and I'm so excited to be together with Akil Abdullah. It's great to be back, and it's really great to watch the start of this quads race. I mean, these boys are out of there quick. I love the way that they are both attacking the catch and really pushing their legs down and accelerating the, the boats through the water. Yeah, and uh, we're looking at the stroke there of this crew closest to the camera. Stroke uh, Hugh Moore, who's been in an Irish lightweight men's single. But do you know the thing that Hugh Moore's proudest of, Akil? What is that? He beat Paul O'Donovan, the Irish Olympic champion and silver medalist from yeah. Rio, Olympic champion from Tokyo, in the single in the Irish trials in 2023. Admittedly, Paul was studying to be a doctor and doing most of the stuff on the ergo, but. You know, if I was told as a scholar or you that, you know, you could beat Paul O'Donovan, then you'd take that, wouldn't you? Every day and twice on Sunday. <laughs> so Queen's University, Belfast, we're watching this race live, are just edging out to a length lead over the Lee and London Rowing Club. It's got three guys from London, Eduardo Marshall, George Cowley and Isaac uh, Workman, and they won the Wifold Challenge Cup. That's sort of rowing sweet with one blade last year at Henley. Fantastic race for the London crew. And I've teamed up with uh, Lewis Powell, who is here as a coach from the River Lee Junior Quads, and they've made London and Lee. And, uh, yeah, I, I kind of thought they'd be a little bit more competitive, but maybe we'll see something from them in the middle part of the course of Yeah, you know, they're still in it, and this is a long race. I mean, we've seen it today where uh, in the singles race where you have a change of a lead and it's it, you, you have to take every opportunity you can to draw back in the crew that's ahead and if you do it right and at the right time then uh, you can change your change the outcome to the race yeah so we're seeing the crew from Queen's University Belfast they beat Bagsford yesterday by a length and three quarters they came down just a fully in 201. Lee and London were just 202, but Queen's University Belfast saw that and they said, Dush, we trump you boys. And they got that lead and it's holding, but London is still hanging in there, Lee and London. You can see the orange shirt of the stroke man, Lewis Powell, representing the River Lee, and they are not out of it. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're trying to attack here, and this is a great time to do it right here as they're coming through, uh, looking around, and you have the opportunity to, to really change your technique, or you can call for a move and try to advance on the boat that's in the lead here. And uh, they look to have made a little bit up on that lead, how, uh, on the McQueen's boat. How are you on the Remnant Roar? Do you know what it is? The Remnant Roar. Remnant Roar. Oh, uh, Remnant, Remnant. I'm having problems saying Remnant. Yeah, Remnant yeah, 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 me too, but yeah. So the Remnant Club is kind of like, you know, a few clubs got together and they bought this space at Henley and the guys are just coming up to it now. London Rowing Club is one of the clubs and they will know that and they will get a roar from all the guys watching. They need to get an overlap coming into the enclosures. There's Remnant, you can see it there. And London Rowing Club members are under that balcony and they are shouting for all their worth at those guys, Eduardo Marshall, George Cowley, Isaac Workman, and Lewis Powell will get a shout even though he's from the River Lee. I really like the way that they're accelerating the boat through the water. You can really see they're getting their oars in really nicely. Uh, not a lot of disturbance of the boat. You can see them run and really push those puddles down, down, uh, down the boat. This Queen's University Belfast crew, uh, youngsters, Hugh Moore, we said the stroke man's 24, but uh, Ronan Gibbon is just 20, Fergus Boyce, Bryce in the two seat is just 20, and Kieran Purdy, 22. Queen's University Belfast, coach John Armstrong, who's been there a while. I was looking back at who coached Queen's University Belfast, and Mark Fangen Hall, who's now at Eton, but he's going to be the Oxford University coach next year. He went to Queen's University Belfast, and he was spoken of very highly there, and his time there around about 2008, 2010. 
So they're used to quality coaching at uh, university. Yeah, and uh, right now they're doing some quality rowing. So um. they have been really aggressive in the way they took it off. And uh, what I like about Irish rowing, and you can see Hugh Moore leading that, is the standard is so high because you've got Paul O'Donovan, Fintan McCarthy, uh, among others. You, you've got McCarthy's young, uh, Fintan's younger brother as well. You've got Gary O'Donovan. You know, Irish lightweight sculling is so aggressive. The way they train with Dominic Casey is so tough. A lot of high intensity work, the old Tor Nielsen training program. And you can see that in the sculling style of Queen's University. Yeah, it looks though, let's see, uh, it looks like the, the Lee in London uh, composite boat uh, is trying to hang in there and looking to take a little bit of a little bit of steam out of the, the the Queen's boat there. Yeah, well, he had a look there, Lewis Powell, didn't he? The London boys have kept their heads in. They have got the overlap, it looks like, but water's going to run out for them, and it's going to be the crew from Northern Ireland, Queen's University, Belfast, as they pass the progress board. They'll know they have about seven or eight strokes to go. They still have a bit of clear water lead over the guys from London and Lee Rowing Club. And yeah, he's got a little look to check. You saw that, Kieran, and uh, you've crossed the finish line ahead. A great victory. He raises his hand, the bowman from Queen's University. Just over a length from London and Lee. Confirmation there on the screen of that heat of the Princess Prince of Wales Challenge Cup.